Welcome to part four of the lesson on connecting different representations of functions. In example four, we're asked to refer to the graph of k of n shown here to complete the table of values, determine the formula for k of n, and then use words to describe the relationship between the input and output variables. So looking at the table of values, notice how we're given the inputs or the values of n, we need to use the graph to find the corresponding outputs or function values where we always find the inputs along the horizontal axis and the outputs along the vertical axis. So let's label the horizontal axis n and the vertical axis k of n. The first input is negative three, so we'll go to the horizontal axis and locate negative three, which would be here, where the input is negative three. From here we go straight up to the function, which would be this point here on the function. Notice at this point, when the input is negative three, the output is positive nine. This point has coordinates negative three comma nine, which means when the input is negative three, the output or function value is positive nine, and therefore the ordered pair is negative three comma nine, as we see here on the graph. The next input is negative two, so we locate negative two on the horizontal axis. Here's where we have an input of negative two. From here we go straight up to the function, which would be here at this point, the input is negative two, and the output is positive four. This point has coordinates negative two comma four. So when the input is negative two, the output is four. The ordered pair is negative two comma four. The next input is negative one. Here's where we have an input of negative one. We go straight up to the function. This is the point on the function where the input is negative one, and notice how the output is positive one. This point has coordinates negative one comma one, so when the input is negative one, the output is one. The ordered pair is negative one comma one. The next input is zero. Notice here's where the input is zero, and this point is already on the function. This point is at the origin with coordinates zero comma zero, which means when the input is zero, the output is zero. The ordered pair is zero comma zero. The next input is positive one. So here's where we have an input of one, Going up to the function, this is the point where the input is one and the output is one. So when the input is one, the output is one, the ordered pair is one comma one. Next input is two. Here's where we have an input of two up to the function. At this point, the input is two and the output is positive four. So the ordered pair is two comma four. The final input is three. Here's where we have an input of three up to the function at this point. The input is three, and notice how the output would be nine. So if the ordered pair is three comma nine, so again we have an output of nine, ordered pair three comma nine. Now we need to find the formula, or now we need to find the formula for the function k of n, which means a formula in terms of n, where when the input is negative three, the output is nine. When the input is negative two, the output is four. When the input is negative one, the output is one, and so on. So we need to figure out what's the relationship between the inputs and the outputs. And notice how in each case, if we square the input, we do get the output. The square of negative three is nine, the square of negative two is four, the square of negative one is one, and so on. So the formula for k of n is k of n equals n squared, or the square of n. So in words, we'll say the function k of n squares the input. I hope you found this helpful.